Ladies and gentlemen, have you felt the ground shake recently? Why? Because there's a real battle going on in the editing arena right now. Giants are clashing, striving to offer you the ultimate rotoscoping tool. Who are the reigning champions, you may ask? Well, first there's the infamous Rotobrush 3 tool in After Effects, and then there's DaVinci Resolve's Magic Mask. But you still may ask, who has the best rotoscoping tool? Well, to help answer that question, I have someone that's gonna be able to put both of these editors through the ringer. This is someone that has over 10 years of experience. He's my friend, Orson Lord. Thanks so much for bringing me on, Josh. It's my pleasure to be here, but let me not waste your time. Let's get right into it. And I'm gonna start with the core difference on how you use these tools. Both tools harness the power of AI with the simple principle of using paint strokes to inform an AI to auto-magically separate your subject from your footage. So keeping it quick, how you use these tools is very similar, but the workflow is very different. For instance, while Magic Mask is contained within the Resolve app itself, Rotobrush can't be accessed from Premiere. You have to use the dynamic link between After Effects and Premiere to use this tool. The constant switching between programs can prove quite tedious and time consuming if you're wanting to do something simple and quick like putting words behind someone who's speaking. And another thing to note, while Magic Mask used by itself may not feel like too much, once you start stacking effects, a node system can very easily get overwhelming for new and veteran video editors alike. So in short, After Effects Rotoscope is easier to learn and adopt, but Resolve will unlock more capabilities and creativity by the end of the day. So that's enough about how to actually use the tool. Let's get right into it. So in round one, things are relatively simple. Our footage contains a well-contrasted subject and nothing to see through except for some delicate hair that blends slightly into the background. The true test surfaces as the ballerina spirals, creating gaps that form and disappear. The question becomes, can the AI rotoscoping tools recognize where the gaps stop and start? Well, there's no two ways around it. Both tools produce stellar results in a flash. Both of them did this shot with flying colors granting a very usable output without breaking a sweat. But here comes a twist. Resolve took it a step further, showcasing its prowess by detecting and cutting out the reflection in the shot as well. This wasn't just impressive, it was bordering on magical. And let's set the record straight. No cues were given to target the reflection. Magic Mask just perceived it as it was and cut it as well. So moving on to round two, we've got a slow motion scene of someone skipping. The real trouble here is the backlit hair against the bright sky. It's not exactly an ideal setup to have someone ask you to cut out, but nevertheless, we're gonna test these tools right now. Getting right into how these tools operated, both of them needed extra manual adjustments throughout the shot, especially since the railing was the same color as the hair thanks to the lighting of the sun. This was definitely no walk in the park. Personally, I found Resolve's dual screen preview more helpful with making adjustments compared to the purple line that After Effects gives. It simply offers a better view of how the edges are separating from the background, but this could also be considered a personal preference. Now onto the results. Rotoscope showed quite a bit of jitter when it got confused, while Resolve tended to leave a soft haloing effect when it was less sure of itself. But let's cut to the chase here. After Effects stole the show with this shot thanks to its Refine Edge tool. It nailed the intricate details, managing to isolate individual hair strands perfectly. It was just... Now we're on to the grand finale. This is a skateboarder pulling off a kickflip in slow motion. This is going to be as tough as it gets for our AI programs, with challenges including a glaring sun that completely envelops the hand, lens flares going over the subject, and not to mention that the subject and the skateboard are actually splitting into two different subjects, making it extra difficult for the AI tools to figure out what they should be cutting out and keeping in. I've got to be honest, I'm not aiming for any picture-perfect outputs, but rather to see just how far these tools can go. Now, during the editing, I decided to start the rotoscoping at the midpoint of the shot where the skateboard was separated from the skater. My theory for this was that it might be easier for these tools to merge objects as opposed to separating them. And here's what unfolded. Resolve did a commendable job at merging and unmerging the objects, though it stumbled a bit with creating these faded ghosts of other objects that were similarly shaded to the subject itself. After Effects, on the other hand, really struggled. It was jittery all over the place, and I had to spend a huge amount of time trying to pull a clean plate. While both shots are completely unusable if I was doing something intricate like a background replacement, Resolve's cut is definitely far more usable for something simpler, like adding text behind the subject. 
All right, so in the end, which tool is better overall? DaVinci Resolve wins on convenience because you don't need to open up an entirely new program if you want to do something basic, like put text behind someone. In terms of quality of output, both are able to help pull a clearly defined subject out of an image. But After Effects wins when it comes to cutting out hair or meshy details, while Resolve does a better job when the subject isn't clearly contrasted to the background. If you're working with a slower computer like I did, after Effects has a significantly faster performance to the point it could be the difference between getting the edit done on time or not. But this gap dramatically shrinks as you invest in a faster computer, as Rotobrush is limited to using a single core of your CPU, while Magic Mask will take advantage of all your CPU and your GPU's processing power. You can get the job done with either tool, but if you have both to choose from, I'd recommend Rotobrush 3 if you're on a slow computer or Resolve if you're on something faster. And finally, thank you all so much for watching this video. I've really enjoyed being a guest and presenting to all of you. If you wanna see more Resolve tutorials, then I definitely recommend checking out my channel here. And until then, I'll catch you around.